Colony Headsmen, Bandits, and Iceswap work as trilogy inside our forest to terrorize Undo State, Governor Kirdulu. The governor of Undo State, Rotimi Akirdulu, has insisted that the Nigerian government was too quick to blame Islamic State of West Africa province ISWAP terrorists for the killing of worshippers at the St. Francis Catholic Church in Owo Town when other groups could have been responsible. According to Akirdulu, during an interview on Channels TV on Monday, Flanny Herdsmen, Bandits, and ISWAP work together inside Undo State Forest where they plan their attacks and it is hard to differentiate their heinous operations in Undo State except there is concrete evidence. Concrete evidence, how? If you commit a crime, you get arrested. If you then happen to be a friendly husband, then we can, you can then start to categorize. But if you're going to be a criminal in a state, you should already get arrested. That should be the aim. It doesn't mean that, okay, fine, we are specifically looking for friendly husband. And it makes it seem like as if, you know, you're being tribalistic. But if you're looking for criminals in a state, if they happen to be friendly herdsmen and the majority of them do, then the fact is the fact. But you can't say... You need concrete evidence to arrest. Uh uh-uh. uh. If they are signed, investigate, find the criminals, lock them up. Simple. The governor said, I reacted to that almost immediately because I asked what evidence they have. It is important to let us know because the security agencies were too quick to jump to the conclusion that it was done by ISWAP. I mean, yes, you should not jump into conclusions. Um, but these. This is a result of a failed security system in, in the country because if they did their research properly, if they did the investigation properly, it, it, they should be able to find, they should have, even within days, the next day, they should have been giving us updates as to them actually getting the, the criminals and also making sure that with these criminals, they're labeled properly. Where are you from? I, I don't know why it's giving i don't know i don't know if people's hands are tied it maybe it seems like people's hands are tied but um yeah concrete evidence mm. speaking further he says security agencies are still on the trail of terrorists as no headway has been made yet he also said i'm take only recovered the vehicle and telephones used by the perpetrators which had been handed over to the department of state services wow that's it. That that is pretty much it. I mean, first of all, we even get into what I think. Let's look at what Nigerians are reacting. So, and what are you doing as the governor? Do the needful and do it as quickly as possibly. Oratory is not the answer. Take action either by fair or foul means. Reclaim your forest. Don't want. Sec- don't wait for security agents. Buhari stands in open grazing, defying the support for terrorism. He supports terrorism. Again, don't wait for security agents. Meaning, don't wait for Amotekun because it's not Amotekun's job. Amotekun is not obliged. If Amotekun should make a mistake or do something that is out of line, can you really hold them accountable? Because it wasn't their job in the first place. Amotekun was birthed out of the scarcity of security agents in the state. So they felt like the government is not going to protect us and we're asking and begging and pleading them to, we might as well help ourselves. This is how these things are birthed. Why? Because the government, out of their complicity, slowly and gradually transfer their obligations and transfer their duties onto the citizens. And the citizens have got to survive. It's like the government, Nigeria government wants to push Nigerians to its limit do this one thing they keep pushing and pushing and nigerians keep accepting the duties because they have to they have to survive so we keep doing it every single time we provide for ourselves in every single way so it's like when we take on most of their duties what is left for the actual government to do that is the question we're meant to be asking that is the question we are meant to be asking as a governor you all no one an apology or need anyone's approval to get rid of them, either through brutal, brutal force or negotiations. I mean, even Bitabi was saying it, the gov- governor is the chief security officer of the state. So what you say should technically be finalized. 
And if it means you have to sack some people, then do it. All this just sounds like excuses. For your state, you are responsible for security in your state. So what are you doing about it? All these excuses, it doesn't make sense. You are just talking. You are just speaking. Speaking, speaking, speaking. No action. Because you are basically trying to say that you don't even know what to do and you are confused yourself. That is what you are trying to say. Concrete evidence for what? Why are you telling us? No, no. Because I feel like it's a thing where... You are hired to do a job and you are coming to your client and you are giving excuses where you are meant to serve them because you should get fired if you cannot do your job. That's how it should be. You don't come with excuses. You find a solution. If it means you have to shake up your government and literally put fire to the buttocks of your um, your journalists and, and, and investigative teams, then you might as well just do that. Stop telling and giving us excuses. I think Nigerians are just take too much. Don't come to Nigerians unless you have concrete things to say that would actually help us because it's like you are transferring the problem like ah it's, it's like as if we don't know where these people are from or we should not blame eye swap da, 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 da. and it's like why are you discussing discussing with who it's like you you don't share your pro- it sounds that is your problem because we put you there to fix it why are you sharing your problems with me problems that we've hired you to fix and you're telling me that you don't know maybe it's not eye swap what kind of excuse is that Hmm. Uh, comment here states and you and your people are still supporting Buhari's government well hmm. what are you doing weak and fearful leaders they know the sponsors of these bandits and terrorists Boko Haram but they don't want to voice out why I'm just too ashamed of this country Nigeria everyone is not the only one you are not the only one so make do with that but it seems like it seems like these are the kind of governors that we have and i think each state each member of the state should take it upon themselves to make it their responsibility that yes we are choosing a president but also when it comes to local government elections and when it comes to you know how our democracy or our constitution even works and the power that we have and even our government we need to put an active effort because as much as we choose a president, we also, for our states, have to choose governors that are willing to work with the president and will not act as a stumbling block that will prevent, you know, the, 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 the president from actually enforcing things. We'll have to see how it is. But again, I think Nigerians need to be very, very harsh. This is not the time for hugs and kisses. It's not the time for manifestos. I'm trying to convince, oh, let me be your president. Listen, if you want to change, you choose the right person. If you want to keep suffering, then that's your own. Put what you think in the comment section below. Do not forget to like and subscribe.